Eddie Rubskin here, and today we're talking about Sega Visions Magazine. Yeah, because I actually got the May June 1992 issue that features Kid Chameleon on the cover. Yeah, that's a badass fucking game. Love Kid Chameleon. And uh, I mean, before this, the uh, Sega Visions was known as the just the Sega Newsletter, and it was only like a couple pages long, little magazine thing. Now, now it's fucking full-fledged magazine, but it's still kind of light compared to other magazines. It's only like 60 pages long. It's, it's, uh, but, but it's still pretty awesome, you know. So let's crack it open and see what we got in here. Uh, Flying Edge. Ooh, and all the fucking crazy games they make. Hulk Hogan. Simpsons. George Foreman. Terminator. It's so 90s, man. It's so 90s. And Bart Simpson there. Again. With the Bart Simpson, Dragon's Fury. That's a cool game. It's like a, it's like a pinball game, right? Except with dragons and shit. Yeah, yeah. Got a thing about fucking Kid Chameleon right here. You know, brand new fucking game, showing you how fucking awesome it is. It's a fucking. Oh, there's like a level map. It's not a very complicated level. You know, you just go that way and then you go down and then you go over here. You know, but. uh it's still pretty awesome, you know. Plus, it shows you some hints and fucking. Oh, that's where you can find an extra life and shit. You know, that's pretty badass, right? And there's some stuff about Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog, which was a new game at the time. And uh, there's some level layouts and some hints. You know, you go over here, you can find an extra life and shit. That's pretty cool. And there was a Sonic the Hedgehog comic. Yeah, which strangely enough. They actually, like, took whole pages from the comic and then shrunk them down so they could fit, like, four pages per page. So, you know, there's only two pages of Sonic the Hedgehog comic in the fucking magazine, but they fit, like, eight pages of the comic in there. It's kind of weird. That they're all shrunk down and stuck in there like that. I don't know what that's about. You know. But, uh, then there's this article about, uh, that we're working at Sega, you know, uh, behind the scenes. At the Sega company, you know, at the company itself, which, you know, I mean, it's just a building, it's just an office, I mean, you know, there's a guy, like, rollerblading out front, right, that's fucking badass, but it is, it's just, it's just a building, it's just an office with people working there, doing stuff, you know, you know there's people working at the office, doing paperwork, working at the computer, and making video games, and, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a golden axe there, right? It's a big fucking gold, golden axe. That's what it is. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, maybe working in Sega was pretty fucking awesome, you know? Maybe it was fucking cool to work in Sega. It looks pretty fucking fun. <laughs> yeah. And, and I'm loving this fucking 90s fucking page layout. It just looks amazing, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Actually, <laughs> Looks like they're having a really good time. I mean, I mean, actually, Sega looks like a really fucking cool place to work. I'll, I'll bet it was fucking awesome back in the day, you know what I'm saying? I mean, can you imagine being one of these guys that worked for Sega fucking back in the day? In the heyday, when they were fucking making awesome games and shit? I mean, yeah, it's just an office, but <laughs> what's going on, you know? Well, what's going on? I don't know. It's crazy here. <laughs> it's fucking nuts. I mean, yeah, look at this guy. He's having a fucking good time, right? Yeah, he's having a fucking blast. Yeah. Oh, and this guy, yeah. Wait, is he playing games? He's, yeah. Those white-ass fucking pants. That's so 90s. Yeah, got some Game Gear reviews. Check that out. X battler Let's see. Also, Crystal Warriors. Not familiar with this game. It's probably a role-playing game. I mean, it'd be cool if it was like Gauntlet, but it's probably a role-playing game. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> George Foreman, Spider-Man, and Bart Simpson. Good stuff. Those are all Game Gear games. Oh, all Game Gear games. Right on. Yeah. Oh, look at these guys. Look at these hip guys jamming out. 
with the creators of Toe Jam and Earl. Mm hmm. That's right. They do a whole fucking interview and shit. Talking about Toe Jam and Earl. I really love that game. You should do a video about that soon. Oh, Chuck Rock. I've got a whole article here about Chuck Rock. Pictures of the levels and stuff. You know, good stuff. Desert Strike. Fucking love Desert Strike. Wearing time is coming, San Diego. Not so much, man. I'm a big fan of that. Ooh, Two Crude Dudes. Oh, I love Two Crude Dudes. Uh, devilish. Mm, devilish is alright. Uh, more games. Fighting Master. Oh, really? It's <laughs> pretty high scores there for Fighting Master. I like it. Shit. Mystical Fighter. Mystical Fighter. You're familiar with that game? You like whip people with your hair. It's. It's. It's, it's weird. It is. It's, it's weird. Uh, yeah. And every Sega Visions magazine had a thing where there was like a. You know, take a picture of yourself doing something wacky with the Game Gear, right? You played your Game Gear where? Right? Because you could take it on the go and just... This kid was on a fucking motorcycle. Oh my god, he's got his Game Gear on a motorcycle. That's crazy. Right. Totally crazy. Where will someone play a Game Gear next fucking month or whatever? Have to find out later. Find out later. More creative. Oh, there's some stuff about controllers. That's that's cool. Oh, and Sonic Hedgehog 2. Next issue. Next issue. Sonic Hedgehog 2. Great. Ooh, there's Sonic again. Ooh, that's it. That's the that's the magazine. That that's all. It's kind of thin magazine actually. You know, they got bigger later, but this one this one's kind of thin. The fuck is up with this kid? I mean, what? He's like Two-Face? Like half of him is all crazy? Grab the clutch and feel the power. What, it makes you like Two-Face? What? Why? <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't know, that's, that's weird. Yeah, I mean, this is an early issue. That's why it's so fucking thin. You know, I mean, it had just been the Sega Newsletter, which was only like a couple pages long. So, but, but this is much bigger, it's more expanded. There's like whole articles, stuff about games, you know, hints and fucking level maps and upcoming games and, uh, and ads. But really not that many ads in this fucking magazine, you know what I mean? They'd get much bigger later. And I got more fucking issues to Sega Visions magazines to talk about in future fucking videos. Thanks to guys on fucking Patreon! Yeah! Guys, help it donate to help support the show uh, and make it these Sega Vision magazines possible. And you can too if you want to. You know, I got a link down in the description if you want to check it out. It's fucking awesome. Help support the show. Be part of the party, man. Yeah. <laughs> Until fucking next time, keep it fucking real.